In game engine development video number 7, there are at least 2 or 3 changes you need to make. The first changes has to do with the include file, the QTimer header file. Instead of using the QTimer header file, you are going to use the newest one which is include QTimer.h. The second changes that we are going to do is that towards near the end of the video, towards the second half of the video, uh, you are to add a mock file to your current project. For the latest version of the Qt5 add-in for our Visual Studio, you don't have to do that because each time you compile our solution, that is generated automatically for you in your project which it, you can find under generated files and you can either look at debug or release just double click on it so you have an idea what a mock file looks like and this is how it looked like what happens is that you see this macro q object that macro is going to be replaced with everything you see here so all this get placed into here so let's close this now let's compile our code let's recompile it let the compiler does its things and once that's done run it and your program should work like so as you can see from here my system is responsive um, when i run the exact same code on my windows 7 my program is very non-responsive meaning it lags the whole system and then when I try to kill the process it takes a very long time to kill the process so if that happens to you when you run it and then your system just lag this is a quick solution for you guys to do in the meantime before we uh, before we add more complicated more different coding to this to our program to make it better so for now what you need to do is you need to add a static int variable let's call it counter and below the print statement we are going to add a condition so if pre decrement pre increment the counter and let's make it equal to a thousand once it equals to a thousand, we are going to call exit zero, close it, compile, and run. And when you add that line of code, the software will kind of be responsive, meaning it will terminate itself. Like so. Okay. So this code line of code right here is for those of you guys out there uh, when you guys compile run and your whole system lag this will help you guys out a little bit for now and that is all for video 7 in game engine development video number 8 there is no changes actually you won't see any changes between video 8 all the way to video 16 so between video 8 and 16 just follow along with the original game engine development tutorial uh, until then happy coding i'll see you guys back at video number 17 actually i am wrong between video 8 and halfway between video 15 there is no changes but from about halfway mark from video 15 to video 17 there are several minor changes that we have to do I will cover over those changes in the next video because we will take some time on it 
Until then, happy coding!